Welcome to the CS Joseph Podcast. I am your host, Chris Taylor, bringing you an acolyte question today. Today's question is, what is the application of four sides dynamic in education? And if you mean education as far as the way we're currently doing schooling, I'd recommend getting that out of your head because the way we're doing education now is completely outdated schooling as far as brick and mortar and actually going into classes is rendered completely obsolete why well just look at this right here the very thing that you're using to watch this content and learn from you're not in a classroom Learning is no longer about the classroom because of the internet. Gone are the days where you need a instructor who spent time, who spent time in academia, who spent time consuming knowledge, um, you know, and does teaching for a living. Gone are the days where you need that, that you need to have a place where people of that mindset congregate for you to be able to learn different studies. Now you can open up your phone and learn almost any skill if you just know how to look for it. And I mean, there are hundreds of people out there teaching on subjects that of all walks of life, just on YouTube. That's not even accounting for people that write articles. The availability of books on your phone, audiobooks, if you don't like sitting down and reading. I mean, the amount of access that we have to information at a species level has never been this great before in human history, at least in recorded history. And so, naturally, the approach we te take to teaching and to learning has to evolve and grow as a whole. So really, the question needs to be, in the society of the internet, the society of information at your fingertips, what is the application of four sides? Well, first and foremost, understanding your type, or in a lot of cases, your children's type, is going to do a lot to affect not only what you study, aka where your weaknesses are, where your strengths are, um, where you might excel based on your temple, or where you might excel based on your development or focus, your octogram. And so understanding your type is going to rapidly accelerate your ability to grow. It will also allow you to change what environments you're in based on your developmental needs. More specifically to the types, a lot of times... NISE users need to have a shared experience of some kind. Okay, and this was this was one aspect of, you know, schooling that could be advantageous to the NI users. So with that shared experience, how do we how do we approach that now? How do we go about that? when we're moving away from classroom settings, theoretically, right? I, I say theoretically, but it's really the only possibility at this point. It's very redundant. And it's very obsolete to have school the way 
the way it is. And as much as I wanted to blame the school systems and people for that, I mean, the accelerated growth of the internet, I don't think it's just unprecedented. There's nothing, there's no amount of growth, I think, that could have accounted for this. There's no amount of planning that could have accounted for this. Internet's only been around for, as we know it, about 20 years. That's not enough time to change a society. It's not enough time to change the schooling system or education as we've known it for thousands and thousands of years. Because even before we had brick and mortar, we had tribes. The way that we educated was through storytelling, right? But you still had to seek somebody out that was knowledgeable or wise. There wasn't a great way to like verify if the information you're getting was true or correct. That's all changed now. But I digress. How do we approach this for a... Um, for an NISE user versus an NESI user, NISE users are going to need to learn how to network with others, basically. And I mean, in in an age ruled by social media, there should be no excuse for that. Um, so you can look at going and finding meetup groups in a particular subject that you're interested in or you can host them yourself. Um, But we really have to develop and learn, you know, what types are really going to excel in this new age that we're looking at. And we have to look at, you know, the understanding the way that you approach information, your preferences, and really your octogram, your temple, where you have natural tendencies is going to give you an edge over other people rather than being limited to what you happen across, you know, in the wild west of the internet. Your type will give you an ability to understand better your strengths and your weaknesses and whether you want to go with your strengths in the things that you learn or whether you want to go and work on your weaknesses using this information is really up to you. Right. But in any case, it really just comes down to trying to figure out What works best for you? Because the way we've been doing things for so long is just gone. Absolutely trash. And if you're a parent, it would very much behoove you to actually learn your child's type, to be able to learn how to interface with media, Um, learn how to guide them through interfacing with media because you also can't, it's not feasible anymore to pull technology away from kids. It's too integrated in society. And all you're going to do is basically stunt your child's growth by, by removing social media from them. Because there's gonna the the new the new game the new race to the top is really going to be fought and won by those that know how to best utilize the internet to their advantage. This means that you have a few options if you where your child is an SI user. They need to learn, and this is gonna vary more depending on specific types, specific SI users, because they're gonna have different needs than others, but SI users are gonna have to learn 
how to discipline themselves in the information and not just self comfort with garbage because there's a lot of that on the internet too. And ISE users similarly have to learn how to look beyond their own NI rabbit holes that they go on, information rabbit holes, and be able to look at different options of information. And really the role of the parents are going to be to assess what your child's type is so you can actually figure out what pitfalls they're gonna have with the internet. And I mean, it gets, it's, it's a little bit scary thinking about it because the internet's kind of just the wild west. There's not really like, you could go onto the internet and find anything. You know, gone are the days of being able to fully restrict the stimuli that your kids approach and see because safe searches only work so well. Parental controls only work so well. And like it or not, your kids are going to be better at you than technology anyway, and they're going to figure out how to disable that shit. So you have to have a conversation with them about the benefits and the and the downsides to the internet and if you're going about having that conversation with your child wrong you could end up pushing them further away to where the internet raises them and not you so what role does four sides play in in this whole grand scheme of things in education uh, same thing it does with everything else understanding each other so we don't project ourselves onto other people or our children so we can accurately and effectively guide them into how to learn so now now more than ever we've released this master class that really helps you to identify you know, certain types by text, which, let's be honest, that's a good portion of our interaction nowadays is interfacing with other people, right? So the sooner you can teach kids to identify that, teach yourself to identify that, you're going to have a better understanding. The role is less about teaching directly now, and the role is guiding now in education. So if you know how to properly assess your kids' strengths and weaknesses or your own, you are able to identify other people's type by text through that EV through that master class. Right? You'd be a lot better off to be able to guard yourself and actually figure out in education where you might have biases. Because remember FITE users have a problem with Occam's razor. TIF, TIFE users have a problem with preferred input or, you know, outdated information. So understanding that will help you to navigate what kind of biases you have when you're doing your Google search and finding, you know, maybe it's your something that supports your argument because it's so easy to find any information supporting anything nowadays that you're going to have to figure that out. Where are my biases? How do I verify them? So, anyhow, if you guys found this useful, helpful, insightful, leave a like. If you have any questions, comment down below. We'll take a look at them, try to get back to all of them the best we can. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.